This is your time of deliverance. This is your time of healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. You feel the Holy Ghost moving upon you. You feel the power of the Spirit moving within you. This is your time of deliverance. You've got to know if you're feeling him walking in you. You see, there's a time and a season for everything. You, you got to feel the power of the Holy Ghost. As you, your heart is that connection to the power. Your heart is that connection to the power. The Holy Ghost power. Jesus, the Bible said, for he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. You feel within you something is happening. The God is about to deliver you. God is about to set you free. Those that came up here and you are sick in your body, lift your hands. Let me see the sick. Besides feeling the power, you are sick in your body, lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the sick come forward first. We may not get staying in the spirit. Let the sick come forward first. Let the sick come forward first. And believe. He that cometh to God must believe. I am not your healer, but Jesus is your healer. I am not your savior, but Jesus is your savior. I am not your helper, but Jesus is your helper. For the scripture says, For the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies, when they come to eat of my flesh, they shall stumble. The scripture says, Whose report shall you believe? And to whom is the arm of the Lord been feel to her? For he was wounded for our transgressions. I want you to listen to the word of God. The scripture said, He sent his word to heal you. He sent his word to save you. He sent his word to deliver you. He said that book that set you free. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We have been bought with a price. And that price is the price of the life of the Son of God. It is and it was for this purpose. The Son of God has made manifested and they might destroy. Destroy. Destroy every work of the devil. Sicknesses of the devil, witchcraft is of the devil, necromancy is of the devil. Amen, somebody. Spirit of infirmity is of the devil. Anxiety, fear is of the devil. Torment is of the devil. Koshikomo kita masata. Shetere boko sikata masata. I want you to say it does not belong in my body. You sickness. You disease. From my bones to my organs. To my blood to my fluid. You do not belong there. The Bible says some believe in the report of men more than the report of God. Some of us believe in the report of devil more than the report of God. I am here with the report of God tonight. The report of God said he was wounded. It is you either you 
believe it or you don't believe it. Just like you can choose to get a second opinion from doctors. I am here with God's opinion about your life. I am here with God's opinion about your health. This opinion comes by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you must receive it by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you must believe with all your heart that God had raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And He paid the price for you to be healed. And if you believe with all your heart, you're going to get up and walk. You're it's going to open right now. Your death is, is going to be unstuck. Your sickness, your disease will leave you. Every demon spirit must obey. Just like they saw him in the land of the Tannerines. When he stepped out of the boat and they cried out, Thou son of God, of the most high. They know they have a time of judgment. Tonight your sickness in your body. This is our judgment to leave. These powers are the saints of God. To bind the kings in chains and the nobles in feathers of iron. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come keep praying with us. The fire of the spirit of the infirmity. Sick and disease in this body. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Receive. Keep praying with us. Say Lord take it away. Take it away. Take it away. If there's bitterness in your heart. If there's unforgiveness. If there's pride, if there's jealousy, if there's hatred, if there's malice, whatever addiction, ask the Lord Jesus to take away the power of sin. Lift your hands and begin to receive your miracle. 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 You are clean spirit. You spirit of infirmity. Let the stony heart break conviction. Jesus. And you believe in God for America tonight. You are the pains there right now. You are the pains there right now. And you believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You believe that He will gonna heal you tonight. If you have to the Lord, the Bible said that mountain them oil. And the pull of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith for the full and effective prayer Jesus. of the righteous shall avail. The Bible said Elijah was a man like passion, but he prayed earnestly. He prayed sincerely. He prayed with faith. And it will not rain. And it did not rain for three and a half years. Believe with all your heart tonight. And that will be healed. I want you to check them for the pain the people we've been praying for us that will never leave them. You pray until they are healed. The Bible said he lined up prayed honestly. He prayed until the heavens stopped rain. The Bible said then when he wanted rain again, he prayed honestly. And he sent the servant to go and see this rain in the sky. He sent them seven. It's free indeed. Believe with all your heart that God is going to heal you tonight. 
and it's not me but the power of God will come upon you. You're going to come in you're going to run through your bones. You're going to run through your circulation. Arthritis is going to leave you. Pinch nerves are going to leave you. Jesus has had the faith of God. Have the faith of God. Somebody shall have the faith of God. Begin to declare your present situation to change. Begin to declare your present circumstances to change. Begin to decree and declare your healing. Begin to decree and declare your miracle. Begin to decree and declare your blessing. Yes, Sarabaya Katarabaya. Yes, Sarabaya Katarabasa Kalabasa. And the man of Jesus Christ. Let's see, but let's hear their testimony as they come. Right. Break that mic a little bit. Neil, let's hear the testimony. Praise the praise the Lord. I spent three days in hospital, and it's in my heart was lacking oxygen. Yeah, I still recalled here, and you're praying for me. And I feel now I did some tests and all that. Bubble negative. Come on, somebody, give it to Jesus. I hope you got a testimony. So you're saying what your eye is? Yes, I'm covering my eye and that's how the eye is. Yes, I'm covering my eye. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the one that's happening now. Yeah. So, of course, the eye to be effective with the skin from the wall. Yes. You know, you know, you believe in for a miracle? Say, so command sight to my blind eye. I command what the devil did to me. Be broken. In the name of Jesus, check the people. No pain. And what is the problem that brought you up here tonight? Bleeding problem with a lot of pain. I want you to go and check and see how the pain problem is going. Believe for a miracle right now. So the pain in the knee is gone. Give God some praise. Benedict, we say. I'm getting some pain in my knees, some terrible pain in my knees. Yes. And as brother Arnold pray for me. Yes. And pray for me, the pain in my knees. Go. Give it to Jesus tonight. Give it to Jesus. Yes. So for blood circulation, a rather for what is happening to you. Yes. For slept. So you would only know you are here when you walk. Yes. Yeah. Then you will know. Let me give God some pretty and say, I believe I'm completely healed tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Give me a case of water to bless for him tonight. Give God some praise for his miracle. Come on, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Finally, anointing of healing and deliverance is set in the name of Jesus Christ. Sight to your blind eyes. Sight to your blind eyes. Let an operation happen. The operation of God. I will pray that the Father will perform an operation upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. The mighty name of Jesus. Come! Every power of sin that I've bound them and tied them, every evil spirit. Receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. Check his eyes. The Bible says, "For you shall see as a refiner's fire and a full of soap." He rabasi kuturi basa. He sharabai kala bai kala ramanda rabasanda rabasata rabasa. But these signs shall follow them that believe. In the name of the Lord, we shall heal the sick. We shall raise the dead. We shall cast out devils. We shall eat and drink deadly things. And in Shaman Hamas, let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon him. You are clean spirit. You spirit of infirmity. You death. You see me that blindness and bondage. Come out, come out, come out. Now, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire, 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 fire,
in the name of Jesus Christ. All those that have an issue with bleeding, remember the woman with the issue of blood, whether you be male or female. Twelve long years. The Bible says she tried every physician. She tried every remedy. She tried every witch doctor. She spent all of her earnings. And none could have cured her. None could have helped her. She hold up on Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, the Messiah. And she said, if I might just touch tonight, you gotta touch the spirit. You gotta touch the most high God. You gotta come in contact. But the master son is not prophet's tomb, it is Jesus, he said it is I who walk in the midst of the church, he said it is I who was dead yet I am alive, for he went and wounded principalities and powers and made an open show of them. All the things on the eyes gone. Look at me. I command sight to the blind eyes. I command sight to the blind eyes. I command every nerve, every tissue to be mended right now. Let an operation begin to happen. Let the hands of God begin to come upon in the name of Jesus. Your spirit of blindness. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Receive a miracle. 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 Right now. Be here. In the name of Jesus. Perform the operation. Perform the operation. Perform the operation. Keep your hand upon the eye as God is healing it in the name of Jesus. Be free to give God some praise tonight. If you miss your bleeding, give me some water, my best for her. The cause of your bleeding will have stopped tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Take it up. Be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. If your hands is there, come with every bleeding and every pain. And God has stopped it. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, God has stopped it. Say, what he has stopped for, how you gonna stop for me? Say, what he God has stopped for this woman is gonna stop for me. Every infirmity, every diabolical power, every unclean spirit, in the name of Jesus. Every religious giver, every spiritual husband, holding us fire to the enemy, fire to the enemy, fire to the enemy. Come on, come on, you spiritual husband, you evil spirit of a sinner, you pattern.
So it's an evil upon her that God is going to set her free from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the water for the sister on the ground here. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of deliverance. Reset that super, that pattern. What she have been fed at the table of her enemies. In the name of Jesus. Give me an cup of water for him. That spirit of faith tormenting her. That came to every evil that I'm entering us. Defect by the table of my enemies. Come out in the name of Jesus. Give us a drink. In the name of Jesus. Lord. If you have the Lord. Korama Shakotosa. Sharamaya Kasatos. Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, let me pray, let me pray, let me pray. You spirit of unrighteous in the knees. Come out, you cause, you are clean spirit. Come out, 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 come
and there is something that was supposed to be passed off to her. And uh, it has been trying to take a hold of her mind for a while. But her fear, herself, her own fear is her enemy. We shut up the gate. Let the hand and say, we shut up the gate. That it shall not have free course to enter. The mighty name of Jesus. And what has already entered into the blood, into the fluid, into the mind. Give God some praise to your hands and say, I thank the Lord Jesus. This is that you could have had a testimony for next communion service. Have, do you have any blessed water at home? Give me a case of blessed water. Keep your miracle, keep your healing. By staying under the anointing and by seeking to serve God in spirit and in truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the anointing of God be set for deliverance. That the blood would not return, the bleeding would not return. In Jesus' mighty name. Well, the two knees were just feeling stiff. The two knees were feeling stiff. stiff. On the knee, the foot was just, you know, feeling like it's some, something just biting me. Biting. On the knee, the foot feeling like something was biting me, yes. And, and then, you just feel, you know, I feel a stiffness and then I feel nothing again. You feel a stiffness and then you feel anything again. Mm -hmm. Who did that for you tonight? Jesus. Come on, give it to Jesus tonight. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. So, I'm going to bless a case of water from Bester already. I'm going to pray with you three more times. But the evil is sent in the home. You're going to bring a red rat for me to have the for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray every yoke. We pray every chain. It shall not be a cotton river. All your pain gone. After three years you are having pain. All your pains have left you. Hallelujah. Have you sought spiritual help before coming here? Yeah, I know yes. yeah, what type of what, what happened to you when you went to these places? Well, when I started, I just take a bath of those. They give you like bath, bush bag and milk bag. Bush bag. Bush bag. You don't want to put like a bath, but bush bag and milk bag. Did they give you anything to drink? Did they give you anything to use spoon and oils? Did they give you any chance, cards, rings, chains, bands, nothing of the sort. Alright, so your home water will pour it out. I'm gonna put on your name to get your home blessed and full. It's like an evil scent, something you have, you have eaten. Right? Something you have eaten was the cause of the pain in the stomach and the swelling. The night you are free, give it to Jesus. And I'm gonna pray with you about three more times, right? I have a bit of by Wednesday, as you come back, you're going to begin to see again. I'm going to pray with you three times. The reason for that is you've got to go through healing. There, there, there is unforgiveness, lack of understanding for your son. And that is stopping you from receiving your miracle. Tell your neighbor, say there are things in your life stopping you from your miracle. The Bible calls it the works of the flesh. It can be addiction. It can be pornography, it can be alcohol, it can be gossip, it can be envy, it can be jealousy. Come on, someone. It can be pride, it can be haughtiness, unforgiveness, bitterness. It can be the pride of life, the love of money. The Bible says the root of all evil. The Bible says if riches increase, set not your heart upon it. Thank you, Lord. 
Put your mind closer. When you came to the ministry, yes? I had problems breathing. You had problems breathing? I mean, your throat, what happened to your throat? Um, somebody said something to me at work. And yes. And the doctor and doctors could not say what was wrong. They couldn't with say what was wrong with you. I was in the hospital many times. Yes. And I was in the hospital and now I'm glad I could talk and I could breathe. So before you could talk, you were getting trouble and breathing. And, and problems so late. Right. So late. You felt what you felt like something was in the throat. And who delivered you? Give it to Jesus. Remember, we want all of your testimonies for communion service. And every obstacle that is before me, every mountain that is before me, is going to bow in the name of Jesus. It's going to bow in the name of Jesus. It's going to bow in the name of Jesus. It's going to bow in the name of Jesus. It's going to bow in the name of Jesus. It's going to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your breakthrough. As you have felt the Holy Ghost move. Holy Ghost fire. Fire. What belongs to you. God is about to release it. So whatever belongs to me. God. God. is about to release it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, right now, so whatever belong to me, God is about to release it. Talk to me, brother. Yes. the best way. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the anointing of God be set, of healing of deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, be set and healing flow. In the name of Jesus Christ, e koto reba kasi to rima kasa kama kasa ta ni kondo rebo koso to bosa ta basa. Be free. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free. The mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But the day of reckoning is going to come. But the Bible says that every man's work will be tried and proven by fire. Come on, somebody. Yeah. To see what type of house you have built, what type of vessel you are. The Bible said there are vessels of wood, there's vessels of silver, there's vessels of gold, there's vessels of clay. Come on, somebody. And I'm not speaking about that, I'm speaking right here. This is the deception of the devil. While you serve God, Satan will make your life miserable. Because he does not want you serving God. And the moment you walk away from that call, he's going to make you feel comfortable. The Bible call it the pleasures of sin. You will feel all that I couldn't do while I was serving God, working for God. I am doing it now. Come on, somebody. When there's a backlash behind that, there are doors that Satan, amen, somebody, leaves open in your life. That God is not responsible for watching over, that you are responsible for watching over. Why? Because He created your vessel with certain capabilities that others didn't have. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And the Bible says the pleasures of sin will only last. For a while. That's why like Jesus came preaching. He said, My meat is to do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. The disciples came and they were talking about meat and drink. They were talking about the physical things of life. And Jesus told him, He said, My meat, my drink, is to do the will of my Father. Because that is what is eternal. Amen. Everything else is temporary. Turn to the neighbor and say, remember, your husband is temporary. Your wife is temporary. Your children is temporary. When you leave this body, you go to deal with God. Come on in. Come on in. No one else is going to give an account for you. You and God. For he's appointed unto men who wants to die. And after death comes the judgment. Amen, somebody. Amen. And the Bible says, after that, amen, somebody. After that verse that we, amen, somebody, are looking for the second coming of Jesus. Who he is coming for a people that are without sin. 
Come on, somebody. Amen. Unto salvation of people that have been preparing themselves. Amen. They have been preparing themselves. Tell the neighbor, have you been preparing yourself Amen. for the coming of Jesus? Amen. Tell them, Jesus is coming. He is coming. He is coming. And if you are preparing yourself for his coming, then you've got to prepare yourself for the great tribulation to come. That's right. As you read Matthew chapter 24, the disciples pointed out of the great buildings that, that the children of Israel built. As, amen, somebody. And Jesus told them, he said, see here, all these buildings, there shall not be one left standing. For they shall be thrown upon the other. And they understood that Jesus was speaking about the end time. And they asked him, he said, tell us. Come on, someone. What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end time? Come on, amen. Amen, someone. And he began to speak about what is happening now. That's right, amen. Come on, someone. Come on. He said they're going to be farming throughout the land. Dirty neighbor said farming throughout the land. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And when you speak about the land, when you're up about throughout the world, you see people leaving their country all over the world. They're leaving Mexico and running to America. Hey, come on, somebody. Yeah. They're leaving Guyana, they're leaving Jamaica, they're leaving Venezuela. Come on, that's right. They're running, amen, somebody. Yeah. From all over the world, they're running because farming. Yeah. There shall be farming in diverse places. Yeah. There shall be pestilence in diverse places. Yeah. There shall be earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah. Within the past 10 years, more earthquakes have been recorded than ever before. He said, for there shall be wars and rumors of wars as we are hearing about the demon somebody. All over we hear about South Korea, North Korea, America, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Come on, somebody. We are hearing about all these armies. We are hearing about amen, somebody. The breaking amen of covenants. Amen, somebody. The Bible calls them truth breakers. They are going on over their limit, amen somebody, of nuclear warfare, breaking treaties, amen somebody, as you look at the news, amen, amen. for there shall be wars and rumors of wars, India is preparing a million army, amen somebody, China is preparing a million man army, North Korea, a million man army, Russia, a million man army, you be, what are you preparing army for? Oh. For there shall be wars and rumors of wars. Come on, somebody. Come on. And he said, see that the end is not yet. And he said, and these are just the beginning of sorrows. Jesus ain't coming here, ain't come here to It's the beginning of sorrows. But you know what he said in that time? He said, because iniquity abound in the hearts of God people. You know what's iniquity? Those who know the truth and living unrighteously. Those who are putting everything else before God. The Bible calls it an evil heart of unbelief. You know the truth, but you are aiming and you are still doing what is contrary to the truth. You know that the, the price you must pay when Paul cried out, he said that I might know who Jesus really is and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Amen. If you got to know Jesus, you got to know the fellowship of his suffering. A Christian life is not one that is comfortable. A believer's life is not one and it's happy go lucky Amen. that's why he said this race is not for the past not for the ship but for those who are able to endure to the end what you enjoy in affliction tribulation persecution testing poverty necessity distress amen, amen somebody amen. come on Hallelujah. come on Amen. I speak it to somebody. Amen. And our faith, he said, 
Amen. He said, when I come, when I find faith at all, he said, because iniquity shall abound in the hearts of men. The love of many shall wax cold. The love for one another. The love for God will wax cold. People won't have joy to preach. Joy to, to be in the house of God. Joy to be in the presence of God. The work of God, the things of God. Amen, someone. Becomes hard because the, the pleasures of this life and the pleasures of sin, amen, somebody, becomes too sweet. Hallelujah. Praise him. Amen. In the book of Revelation, he said, because thou sayest, I have money and I have goods. Amen, somebody. And I increase with them. I have no need of God. Come on, somebody. He said, but I have all against you because you have lost your first love for me. When, when people now get saved and now get delivered and now get healed and they now experience the Holy Ghost and they have now been visited. Come on somebody. They, 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 they tell you, they tell you. Come on somebody to say, some say I will never leave this ministry. Some say I will never leave God. Some say I will never forsake God. Some say I'm pressing on no matter what. Some say I'm standing for God no matter what. But in the hour of trial and testing and persecution. The scripture say they die and they wither. And the scripture say and some the cares of this life yeah. have choked them. Yeah. Which is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And these three are one. Yeah. But you know what Jesus said when his brethren came, when his mother came to him? He said, who is my mother? Who is my father? Who is my brother? But them that do it the will of my Father, which is in heaven. A man came to Jesus who was a disciple and following Jesus and a loved one died. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. And he came to ask Jesus if he could have leave to go and see about the dead. And what Jesus told him, he said, let the dead bury the dead. Amen somebody. What he said, amen somebody. He said, I must walk the walk of my father while it is day because the night will come when I will walk no more. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And that is how I live concerning the work of God. You can ask my father, ask my mother. When it comes to God work and God business, I have no compromise. I have no family, I have no bloodline. The only bloodline you want is Emmanuel's bloodline. Hallelujah. Amen, someone. Amen. We are living by the faith of the Son of God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Let's anoint them tonight. Amen. Father, we pray that your anointing of restoration, that you will restore them higher than it was before. That the trials and tribulations that caused them to draw back to petition will make them stronger. Because we know that's why you allow it to come in our lives. To make it, to make us stronger. Make them stronger than it was before. Break every coast, every chain, every addiction in the mighty name of Jesus. And prepare them in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the of Jesus, the anointing of restoration, the anointing of healing, the anointing of deliverance, the anointing of change. In the name of Jesus Christ, by faith we thank you. Put your hands together for the Lord. I have seen many people that God has called, they have died and gone. By all kind of illness and disease. Come on somebody. Let me tell you something. The Bible says a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. 
the Bible said, Woe is the man that put his hand to the plow and pull it back. Come on, somebody. The Bible said, To whom much is given, much is required. Do not live your life by the standards of others. Do not live your life by looking at the rich man. The Bible said for they are miserable, they are poor, and they are naked. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. But the Bible said we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Tell the neighbor say you have treasure that you have not begin to use yet. But you gotta get in the spirit to get them. Come on. The attack of the believer is the mind. If you have not been possessed or you are not attacked by witchcraft and sorcery, then your battle, the battle you are facing is in your mind. The Bible says the mind is the battlefield. Come on, somebody. Sometimes what you never faced before as an unbeliever, you face as a believer. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And amen. And when you walk away from God, it seems that like you make the right decision. It seems to you that things become easier. But that's the setup of the enemy. Satan will make it easier for you. You know why he's going to make it easier for you? Because he doesn't want you doing the work or the will of God. But your time of living so will be short lived. After that, no man of God can help you. No prayer can help you. Come on, somebody. No prayer, no man of God can help you. Come on, somebody. There are many that are going through that today. When I pray for them, I know what the Lord showed me and that's what he said. Come on, somebody. People that God have saved from life and death and have turned their back on God for years. And then when something devastating and come to them, you can't pray it out because it's, it's God. They fall into the hands of God. Come on, somebody. The Bible calls an, an unbelieving heart, an evil heart. An unbelieving heart does not know he has been separated from God. There are many religious people do not know they have been separated from God. Eli and his sons did not know they were separated from God. Paul warned us that be careful that you slip unknowingly, not knowing that you have already been separated from God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Praise Him. Glory to Jesus. I was listening to a news report over 600 and something dead for the year already. Amen. It was an early morning report and about 500 and something children missing. Come on, somebody. Where is the light of the world? Tell your neighbor, say, where is the light of the world? Where is the church? This is telling us a story about our light. This is telling us a story that we are religious. Come on, somebody. We are religious and don't have the power of God. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. How much murder is happening every day? Whose children are committing the murders? Amen. It's right in your neighborhood. Right in your village. Right around you. Come on, somebody. How, where is your light reaching? How much souls are you reaching? Why? Because you are so focused on living for yourself. You're not living for God and your community. Come on, somebody. It's to see them delivered. No witch doctor should be operating in your community. They've got to be shut down. Amen. The Bible said in the day of Pentecost, amen, somebody, when Pentecost fully came, they brought all their black books. 
Come on, somebody. Yeah. And surrender it before Peter. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All their black hearts, all their evil, they brought it and drop it. Amen. Because greater is he that is in you and he that is in the world. Amen. 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 Somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Tell the neighbor, say, we got to come back to God. Tell the neighbor, say, we got to come back to God. Tell them, come back to God. Say, all this religion and church cannot save us. You need to have a relationship with God. Being a Pentecostal cannot save you. Being a Hindu cannot save you. Being a Muslim cannot save you. Being a full gospel cannot save you. A Methodist, a Amen, a Baptist, come on somebody. A seven days, come on somebody. What will save you is when you really begin to serve God. Come on somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 The scripture said, Before the great and notable day of the Lord, I will send my servant Elisha. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, say, There must be the move of Elisha. Before Jesus came, John the Baptist was that move. The Bible said he was not that true light, but he was sent to be a witness of that light. And he came and challenged the system and the world and the governments of that time. And he was beheaded for it. What are you challenging in your life? Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. The Bible said, a wicked and a perverse generation looking for a sign. And he said, your sign, the sign of this generation, is the prophet Jonah. Jonah ran from God. Come on, somebody. That's what the church is doing. We are running from God. While thinking we are serving God. The Bible, Jesus said, you keep the traditions more than the commandments of God. The church is full of tradition and culture more than the commandments of God. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Would you don't understand this? Amen. Amen. Come on. And he said, if this move of Elijah would come to bring back our hearts to God, he said he will smile the earth, meaning you and I, Amen. who have not returned to God with a curse. Amen. That curse no man of God can remove. Amen. No opium man can remove. Benny Hinn can remove it. TV Joshua can remove it. Turn to your neighbor and say, get back to God. Get back to God. Get back in the presence of God. Not in the house of God, in the presence of God. The Bible says, where your heart is, there shall your treasures be laid up. Where is your heart? Come on. Amen. Your people that's come to get pray for. And that's wrong. There are people that want to hear where move of God is. And come and see what God can tell them and do for them. Amen. But to serve God. Come on, someone. You can call yourself a Christian how much you want. The way of God is holiness. God didn't call us Christians. The unbelievers called us Christians. Which means we were Christ like. Come on, somebody. Come on. But the way of God is holiness. And the Bible said without holiness, no man shall see God. Hallelujah. Tell the neighbor said the way of God is holiness. And holiness in coming back.
by sugar caught in the gospel. Amen. 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 Coming by compromising God's word. Amen. 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 But by joy, by peace, and by righteousness Amen. in the Holy Ghost. Amen. It didn't come by word alone, Amen. but by power and authority and demonstration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. We have a generation that needs to be saved. The children need to be saved. Come on, somebody. Amen. But the elders and the leaders of the church are not saved. Come on, Come on somebody. Amen. Many pastors are not saved. Amen. Many evangelists are not saved. Amen. Many apostles are not saved. Amen. Many prophets are not saved. Amen. They carry the titles, but they are not saved. Many ministers are not saved. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. If they were saved, they would have started to protest against the gays. Amen, somebody. And amen, somebody. And the homosexuals in our nation. They will come and begin to preach against it. Because God destroyed our whole nation for that. Amen. They want to protest for and the price of food rice. Come on, when, when they want more pension money. <laughs> when they don't have enough jobs. Amen. Come on, they will be protesting for. Come on, somebody. The house we apply in the government, we get it yet. We're not protesting for righteousness. Amen. We're not protesting for holiness. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Speak it to somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're protesting for the dollar, for the gold and for the silver. Amen. But you're not protesting for righteousness Richard. and for holiness. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. The only time you hear the nation protest is when they want something financially. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Youths in your community are murderers, bandits, rapists. Come on, Selling drugs. Come on. Come on. What are you doing about it? They're so focused on even on the meat that will perish. They cannot focus on that which is eternal. Come on. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What you hear people put their for each other to pass the common must law for everybody to be high free. Amen. You didn't hear no believer, no church, no, no place. Amen, somebody. No big church in our nation, the mega churches, the big leaders that have influence in here and then come out. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Yeah, of our elders, our leaders must come back to God first. Sure. Amen. Amen. Right now our affection is on the things of the world. Right. And the Bible said, love not the world, neither the things of the world. He had loved the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Amen. He didn't say not to have it, he said don't love it. Amen. He said because where your heart is, there shall your treasures be laid up. On, and we only lay up things on the earth. And we lay up any things in the heaven. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. What have we laid up in heavenly places? Come on, somebody. What have we stored up in heavenly places? What have we done with the word of God in your life? 
Come on, somebody. Yeah. Who have you ministered to? Who have you saved? Who have you laid your hands on? What are you doing with God's word? Yeah. Come on. Praise Him. Amen. 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 Come on. Give yeah. God some praise to me. And I feel the spirit of conviction of the Lord on you. Before God curse Satan come upon you. Amen. Because God is about to purge this land. Just like all the nations of the earth are being purged. Some get purged with earthquakes. Some get purged with floods. Some get purged with tsunamis. Some get purged, amen somebody, with volcanic eruptions. So your dad is going to get his purge. Come on somebody. The Bible said in the book of Matthew 24, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be. You know what happened in the days of Noah? Not only did Noah preach for 125 years, and they didn't take heed to him, but they laughed at him, they mocked him while he built his heart. Come on somebody. Come on. They saw rain fair, which they never saw before, and they still didn't believe. It's only when the flood came on the earth, they ran to enter into the ark, and the ark was shut by God. Don't wait till the earthquake come. come. Don't wait till the hurricane come. Don't wait till Ebola come. Come on, somebody. Don't wait them to run into the ark. Because God has already shut it. Call yourself what you want. But if you are not seeking holiness, come on, somebody. If you're not seeking the way of holiness, you're not going to enter into the ark. Bring it to me, bless it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of deliverance be set. The mighty name of Jesus, let the anointing of deliverance be set. Come on, we are living in a time that we are doing wrong, we are living wrong. We are sinning against God, we are breaking His covenant, we are breaking our vows and want God blessing and deliver us. Amen. Amen. And we are looking at ourselves to see that we are cursing ourselves. Amen. Tell your neighbor, said, get smart. Get smart. And come out from the curse. Amen. Because God's work will continue with you or without you. When Elijah thought that he was the only one, God told him, he said, I have seven one thousand just like you. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And if I don't do what God has called me to do, and God will raise up somebody just like me to replace me. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, tell them and say, it's you and God. It's you and God. You got the answer. Give an account for what you know. For what you know. Amen, somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, he said, If you do all that I have commanded you to do, and you have obeyed them, then all of these blessings shall overtake you. He said, it shall overtake you in the marketplace. It shall overtake you in the valley. It shall overtake you in the mountain. It shall overtake you in the sea. You got to obey all of them. Amen. Not just part of them. It's just strive to enter into the straight gate. I know what you're striving for. Many striving for riches and for gold. Come on, somebody. Many striving for a kingdom on this world. But are you striving to enter into the kingdom of God? Are you striving to be used of God? Are you striving to work for God? Are you striving to be visited of God? Are you striving to be changed, to be transformed into His image and into His likeness? Has your mind be renewed? Are you fighting the fight of faith? Come on, somebody. What is revival? Revival is when God begins to work within you. 
Come on. Those that are told they come back for prayer, come quickly. And when the church says, listen. They carried her by um, her uncle carried her by some people in Shabonas uh -huh. and they had some friends or something and yes. they killed some cop and they passed it all over her and her cutlass and pointing it in her face and all kind of things about her father and mother and uh -huh. she started bawling and can not sleep and whatever. And, and the uncle carried that? Yeah. And, and what was her problem before why they carried her to that place? Yeah. Nothing that is carrying her to do that. That is mother in law. The mighty name of Jesus, I bless this water. Whenever I have come upon this child, upon a man, dwelling in a blood of fluid and organs, come out in Jesus' name right now. Drink it up. Mighty name of Jesus Christ, we break every satanic power, we renounce every work of darkness. Oh God, we cover her by the blood of Jesus. Be thou loose and be thou set free. Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire, 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 be free. I have the mighty go to rest in Jesus' name. The body is hot. I'm going to give you some anointing right for her. Is he staying with you right now? He would anoint her every night for seven days and she's going to be all right. Father, I bless the soil. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of deliverance be set in Jesus' mighty name by faith. Amen. Amen. Let us bring two small bottles from before we set. We have oil in.